Tonight, we are going to be featuring the citywide concert uh, featuring five bands. We have two elementary school bands, Foundation Band 1 and 2. We have a commencement band. We have a jazz combo. We're really excited. It's elementary school students. Uh, for some of them, this is their first time playing jazz. And then we have a jazz band. We're also featuring an Eastman Pathways Orchestra with uh, some students from rock music under the direction of Alex Pena. And finally, we have our uh, our Eastman Pathways Chorus featuring the Rochester City School District district-wide show choir under the direction of Lucas Wilson. So we have a lot of exciting, uh, exciting changes happening in the Rochester City School District Arts Department. We have a district-wide marching band that is comprised of students in grades 5 through 12 who rehearse on Saturdays. And we most recently just performed in the Lilac Festival Parade on Saturday, but we've done St. Patrick's Day Parade um, and a couple of basketball games. Uh, uh, we rehearse as a big group twice, and uh, they get to meet musicians from all across the district to put together the music with their um, their directors and then tonight is what is really exciting it's the culminating event when all of our students will perform on the stage at Kodak Hall at Eastman Theater um, and we're looking forward to a great turnout and family support. Um, out of the top musical experiences in my whole life this is the best one. You know getting to direct a band of 140 kids on this stage was without a doubt the best musical experience of my life and just to give these kids a chance to play in a setting like this and come together and just enjoy music for music's sake is just the best thing in the entire world. You know I'm so excited about it because you know it's fun. I really enjoy music so this is like a good experience. I've never been in a stage as big as that and I want to, it was really fun, I want to do it again. Pathways Choir featuring students from our district wide show choir. They're going to come back up in a few minutes. Up next is our foundation band. These are students that are just starting to play and they're very excited to perform for you this evening.
we have another round of applause for Foundation Band One? As we transition, you'll see there's a lot of students up here. We had 120 students in Foundation Band 1, which was amazing. Coming up next is Foundation Band 2, but before we do that, we have a quick video to show you. Some highlights from our art show that is right now on display at Central Office. If you've not had a chance to go, on all four floors of Central Office, there is student artwork from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade, and it is spectacular. So you'll see a few highlights, but please stop by Monday through Friday during normal business hours to see the artwork in person. Thank you. Today we have our arts education open house. We have over 500 artists that have their work displayed. And it's a time for their families to come and see their artwork at, at its opening in public. It's covering almost every wall on four floors. So we have the basement, first, second, all the way up to the third floor is covered. Um, it actually meets one of our New York State learning standards, which is to, uh, to have to have your art produced and, and put up. And for, for music, that means performing, but for art, that means creating artwork and then, and then showing it. Uh, so this is an opportunity for students to show their artwork in public and, and get some feedback from people. It is absolutely amazing to see the variety of artwork, all the way from our, from our kindergartners up to our seniors at School of the Arts. Um, there's just such a wealth of talent and skill, um, and I am so thankful to the teachers for taking the time to not only guide their students and teach them, but then to put this artwork up and invite families to, to see what their students are doing. Um, it feels great. I love doing what I do, especially having my teacher Hollister teach me more. And Carlson Palma was actually my original teacher um, during elementary. It's really helped me grow. I didn't think my art would come in um, the Rochester City School District at all, but it did, so I'm happy. It's so fulfilling to see someone you haven't seen in a long time, bright, happy face, you know, saying hello and remembering. You know, that's the best, is when we can meet up later. Right? And then she can be so proud and show me what she's doing. Yeah. Yep. It's yeah. great. It's great. I love it. It's awesome. It's a great time to bring families down here and celebrate the good things that our, our students are doing and see all the amazing talents. And it gives the art teachers great ideas for the future. And even our students are able to go around and photograph the pieces that they admire most. And then they can create their own lessons from that in the future. So it's, it's a blast. It's always a great turnout. Um, so we're very thankful that we can do this every year and just it's wish true. that it could last right. a little bit longer. The work, it was kind of hard a little bit and I almost gave up on it because it was like two months work. And, but the way it turned out, it was nice and it was like, like the colors was nice. I was going to pick red but then I picked blue because blue and red was my favorite color. But, and the person I picked was Freddie Block because like, he's just so cute. And yeah, and I've been putting a lot of work into it, into it. And maybe people like it, they can do it themselves at day school. It makes me like, like if, if I don't have anything to do, I just sit down, get a piece of paper, draw. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make a career in like animation. So I'm trying to like draw and everything as much as I can to get ideas. That way when I grow up, I could make it my job one day. Uh, it's awesome to get this opportunity to display their work. They don't get a lot of chances as visual artists to perform. So having the opportunity where we can bring the community together, support them, and showcase their true talents that many of them may have had the opportunity to further their education using that as a, a vehicle, it's really amazing. It's very special and to get to bring their families together is also an essential piece of our community. So it's really nice, it's great to be a part of it.
give another round of applause for our foundation band too. Congratulations. The next band that will be coming up on stage is our commencement band. These students are in middle school and high school and they have two pieces to play for you tonight. Um, just before that, though, we have a special video to show you that's some highlights of our marching band. Started uh, two years ago, we have a district-wide RCSD marching band that rehearses every Saturday at East High School. Anybody is welcome to come, so if your student is free on Saturdays and wants to join us, this year so far we've marched in the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Just a few days ago we marched in the Lilac Festival Parade. Um, and we have a competition at Darien Lake coming up very soon. So please enjoy this short little clip that features our marching band. The Rochester City School District District-wide Marching Band will be marching in the parade. This is the second St. Patrick's Day Parade that we've marched in. Last year was our very first parade ever performing. This year we're about twice the number we had last year. So we see the students every single Saturday, 9.30 to 11.30 at East High School. They practice um, on their own when they're at school. And then on Saturdays when we're all together. We can't wait. We're really looking forward to the parade. Well, it takes a lot of practice. I mean, with the woodwinds, I just recently moved over to the pet band. Um, you know, they've been practicing really hard. We always look at the music piece by piece. We break off into sections. You know, it feels really good, especially with this being my last for my last parade. Even though we give up our Saturdays, it's worth it. Bands in hut! Marching band! Down! One, two, three! Out! Super excited to be here for the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Right now, my kids are warming up back there, um, and they're doing a great job. They're doing a student-led warm-up right now, which is great. That's what we want to see as directors, students taking leadership in this organization. Uh, the past couple weeks, we've worked really hard at memorizing our music so that they don't have to march with their music down the street. I'm excited to see younger ones actually interested in something like this. You usually you see everyone today in like YouTube or stuck to your phone. I feel like I'm helping you guys do something more than just be stuck to electronics. They actually enjoy this and want to take the time out for this. And we also have a color guard this year, so that's even more people than yeah, we never had one last year. We're really excited to be able to be a part of this year's St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, we would practice every Saturday uh, for an hour or two with the marching band, learning how to march. Then we learned how to hold the flags. Then we learned how to twirl the flags. So we put a lot of work and time into practicing. And it was really hard. It's my first time being in a parade or seeing one. Um, so we've been preparing for St. Patrick's Day uh, since September. A lot of new kids joining us this year and a lot of returning students. This is our second year uh, performing at St. Patrick's Day and uh, you know the kids have really worked hard getting, getting the job done so we're excited to be here.
Is this thing on? Oh, I've always wanted to say that. Good evening, my name is Miss Fox, and um, I... And I have the honor of conducting uh, the commencement band this year. I have a few people I'd like to thank this evening. Um, my dear ringers, you see some white hair, some grown people in this ensemble. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Carl Carpenter, um, Dr. Joseph Hansen, um, Mike Parisi, uh, Luke Wilson, and Oliver Smith. I'd love to say a thank you to um, Liz Hannon and Dominic Pickard. Um, if you had seen all the work they've done behind the scenes for us and for all the things going on in the music department, you'd be amazed. Um, I'd like to give a thank you to Mr. Scott Weber and his uh, staff that he's got working with him, some East kids that have been moving furniture like crazy. So thank you to them. Without you, we wouldn't be able to do this. Um, I'd like to thank all of the music teachers in the district, especially the ones that have been leading these students. Um, they're absolutely amazing, and it's a credit to your teaching daily, so thank you. And last but not least, thank you to those of you parents out in the audience tonight. Um, without your support, you know, we all wouldn't be here, so thank you so much for being here. Um, especially my own family, my parents are here, and my fiancé. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Our next piece gets a little crazy. It's called Foundry by John Mackey. You're going to be hearing some metal in it. It's very exciting.
Round of applause to the commencement band. Now you'll notice in your program that some students have one star next to their name or two or three. And if you look at the very bottom, one star for students that are in Eastman Pathways. This is a special scholarship program at the Eastman Community Music School where students audition and they get to take lessons um, here at Eastman Community Music School and there's other ensembles they can be in. Um, Students with two stars are in our show choir. You're going to see them up here in a few minutes again. And then finally, three stars are for students in rock music. Rock music is an after-school strings program. Right now, they are uh, operated out of the Gantt Community Center and the Edgerton Community Center. And they're setting up right now for the Eastman Pathways Orchestra featuring the director from rock music, Alexandra Pena, and um, and some students from rock music. But before we get to that, they have to take a whole bunch of stuff off the stage. So we're going to show you uh, some pictures of our students and how they got here today. So um, I might have said this before, but th their music teachers selected them to be in Citywide. They received music. And then they practiced at their home school for a few weeks. And we've had two rehearsals. So everything that you see here today is with just two rehearsals. That's a lot of work that the students have been practicing at home and practicing at their schools with their teacher support, getting them ready. So you're going to enjoy some pictures and some photos of our students rehearsing over the last week. Thank you.
We now have another round of applause for our Eastern Pathways Orchestra. We are well beyond halfway through our program. We have just three groups left for you this evening. We have our Eastman Pathways Choir featuring students from the RCSD District Wide Show Choir. And then we have, wrapping up our evening, two jazz bands. Uh, the video we have right now is some clips from our rehearsals. So the district-wide show choir, we actually have an elementary one and a high school choir. They rehearse on Saturdays. Um, and if you have any children that would like to join, we would love to have your students. Uh, we have spots for students in grades 3 through 12. So enjoy this. Thank you. So students rehearse on Saturdays at East High School from 9.30 to 11.30. We have students from grades 4 all the way through 12th grade. We are from every single school in the district, or at least we would like to be. We actually have representation from almost every high school and quite a few elementary schools as well. This is our second year in operation. We have six teachers who also come in and work and a couple volunteers as well. Our students really have enjoyed this. It's a building opportunity to do extra and more than what our schools offer during the day. Every Saturday morning we've got um, marching band practice. We have an elementary show choir, which is from uh, sixth grade until eighth grade students. Um, and then the high school show choir is from ninth grade until uh, twelfth grade. So each um, each group is practicing for their own separate performances, so Marching Band has a performance next week. They have a parade that they're doing. If anyone would like to join uh, the high school show choir, there, our practices are at 9.30 at East High School. They go from 9.30 until 11.30. It's just an opportunity to, to sing and to perform. In this day and age where we have all this technology around us, it's so easy for kids to not want to do something that they have to manually put themselves into to learn how to do when they can just easily get online and do whatever. So to see young minds and, and students willing to put forth the effort to learn a craft that is sort of dying off due to technology, but yet still it, it will inspire and just instill certain skills into you that would last well into adulthood. I'm, I'm actually very proud that they took that upon themselves to be interested in. Thank you. 
Another round of applause for our Eastman Pathways Choir. And right now we are setting up for our last two ensembles. We have a jazz combo, which is the next group up. They're primarily elementary school students. And then we are gonna round out our program with a jazz band. But before we do, um, I would like to acknowledge the Rochester Education Foundation. REF has been a partner with the Rochester City School District for over 10 years. REF in that time has collected 1,100 instruments and donated them for our students. They also provide high quality instruments to college bound students and they support performance opportunities including the RPO Holiday Chorale and this evening they supported us by providing every student, that's 400 students, got dinner tonight thanks to REF. So I'd like to give them a round of applause. And we have a brief video that highlights some of the work that REF has done in our schools. Imagine if Louis Armstrong never touched a trumpet. If Van Gogh didn't have access to paint. Or Steinbeck never opened a book. But they did, and they made our world a better place. Kids are filled with potential and the desire to learn, but they need our help, our guidance, and our encouragement. And they need resources. That's where REF comes in. Our goal, give every Rochester City School student the chance to live up to their full potential and achieve greatness. Over the past 10 years, we've distributed more than 37,000 new books, over 1,100 musical instruments, and have helped more kids gain access to a college education. What can our kids achieve if they have access to the kinds of tools that promote learning? We thought you might enjoy hearing directly from them. Um, I want to be a teacher. I want to be a eye doctor. I want to be a fashion model. I want to be an artist. I want to study about animals. I want to be a veterinarian. REF recently provided 1,100 brand new books to students at the World of Inquiry School. Books they were actually given to keep. We dropped in while the third graders were reading those very books to the first and second graders. We also got to sit in on a music lesson. Jashanti wanted to play the flute and got one from REF in the fourth grade. Since then, he has qualified for music lessons at the Eastman Community Music School and received support from REF and the Eastman to help pay for a special summer music camp. I really want to tell the donor, thank you very much. I don't know where I'll be without the flu. I think that REF has been so generous in providing not only instruments, but tuition for lessons they provided instruments for kids going on to college, uh, providing meals between a rehearsal and a concert at All City. REF just goes above and beyond to provide help and aid to Rochester City School students. REF's latest initiative helps high school students gain access to a college education by providing counselors who help students and their families complete financial aid applications. My mother and I tried on our own but completing the financial aid forms was really confusing. REF got us help, and now I've been accepted to college, and I'll be receiving aid. Who knows what our kids may become? I want to be an astronaut. I would like to be a professional flautist. I want to be a teacher that teaches kindergartners and first graders.
Congratulations to our jazz combo. And before we get ready for our final performance, our final ensemble coming up, I have a few um, announcements to make. After this performance, I'm asking for all families and audience members to please stay seated, and I will give you directions about where to meet your students. Right now, they're sitting in the balcony, and all their stuff are in different rehearsal rooms around the building, so they're gonna need to go get their stuff, and I'll let you know where to meet them. But before our last group goes on, I do also wanna um, express my, my gratitude for uh, Linda Simmis, our interim superintendent for the Rochester City School District, and both of our deputy superintendents, Dr. Christiana Otua and Adele Bavard, for their support of the arts. Also, our Board of Education. Our Board of Education commissioners believe in what the arts does for our students, and that's evidenced in, in the budget and funding what we're doing. I'd also like to acknowledge the staff and custodial staff at East High School where we had our rehearsals. The RCSD Communications Department who sets up um, and records all these videos and everything you see here tonight will be available on YouTube and we'll send out the links so you can watch this over and over and over again. And finally, uh, the Eastman School of Music. Um, they donate the space and we are so grateful for all of their assistance. So to all those people. And I can also not leave without thanking our parents. Can we have a round of applause for all the parents and family members who are here to support our students? <laughs> parents, we cannot do this without you. From fourth grade, when our students start practicing, it's with your support that they continue. And here is our jazz band. Enjoy our last ensemble. Thank you. 
we have another round of applause for all of our students, all of our teachers, everybody who performed today.